Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at the report or audit opinion on the internal control over financial reporting. Well, this is going to take us back to the audit report that we looked at when we looked at the PCAOB public entity audit opinion. And if you remember, and if not, that's fine. Under the auditor's opinion, we stated that we audited the financial statements and we also stated that we audited the internal control and we said we're going to talk, we're going to issue a report for the internal control. Notice here we have audited in accordance with the standard of the PCAOB, the internal control over financial reporting, and we used COSO as the criteria. What we're going to do in this session, we are going to go over this report, the report on internal re the report on internal control over financial reporting. So this is the complete report. You cannot see it properly. Just like what I did with the other two reports, the PCAOB as well as the AICPA standard unqualified and modified report, I'm going to go over each section of this report separately. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is the report title. Notice the report says independent registered public accounting firm. We have to emphasize the fact that we are independent. And that's a given. Why? Because when we conducted the financial statement audit, we also stated that we are independent. And remember, when we audit the financial statement, we're also auditing the internal report. So if we are independent for the financial statements, we must be independent for the internal report. It's basically giving, but nevertheless, I'm going to have to emphasize it. Also, who do we address the report to? Same thing with the financial statement. We address it to the board of directors and the stockholders of Adams Company, not to management. Why? Because we don't work for management. We work for the shareholders. We are independent from management because management prepared the financial statement. Management in control of the internal control, designed and implemented the internal control. We don't deal with them. We don't report to them because we are independent. Now let's go to the auditor's opinion. What is auditor's opinion? This is the opinion over the financial reporting. We're going to state clearly that we have audited. Notice the internal control over financial reporting of Adam Company giving the date based on the criteria established by COSO, the Committee of Sponsoring Organization. In our opinion, the company maintained an all material respect, effective internal control over financial reporting as of this date. This is our opinion. They maintain an effective internal control in our opinion based on the criteria that we used. Remember, we need the criteria and that criteria is the COSO criteria. So don't worry, later on, we're gonna have one whole chapter about internal control where we will discuss everything about internal control. Also, we're gonna have a cross-reference paragraph. What is this cross-reference paragraph? If you remember here, we cross-reference the internal control report. In this report, we're gonna cross-reference the financial statement report. We're going to also state that we have audited and according with the P with the PCAOB, the consolidated financial statement. So basically what we're saying here is we also consul uh, audited the financial statement and we have an unqualified opinion. Now we need to talk a little bit more about how did we come up with this basis of opinion? How did we come up with our opinion that the internal control is effective? Now, before we look, we look any further, I would like to make a public announcement about my company. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Basis for opinion. Well, here we go. We, we start by saying, and this is important, and we did this one with the financial statement, we want to remind the users that management is responsible for maintaining effective internal control. Not us. What do we do? Well, our responsibility is to express an opinion. So management is responsible for the internal control. Our responsibility is, is express an opinion on the company's internal control over financial reporting. Again, we state again for the third time in the report that we are, we are a public accounting firm registered with the PCAOB United States and are required to be, again, independent with respect to the of the companies in according with the US federal securities law, applicable rules and regulation, and of course the SEC and the PCAOB. So we are independent 
in all with all these organizations in terms of the rules that they put. Also, we conducted our audits in according with the when according with the standards of the PCAOB. Those standards required that we plan and planned and performed the audit to obtain reasonable assurance, not guaranteed, not absolute, whether those effective internal control was maintained in all material respect. Our audit included, included, what did it include? What did we do? We include an understanding of internal control. How do internal control work? Again, when we talk about internal control, we're going to learn how the auditor learn about the internal control of the company. We assess the risk that a material in the statement exists. We tested and evaluated the design and the operating effectiveness. Remember, what we did is we tested and evaluated. We did not set up those design. The management set up the design. Because if we set up the design, we cannot test our own work. And we perform uh, and, and performing such other procedures as we considered necessary under the circumstances. We believe that our audit provide a reasonable basis for our opinion. So basically, we are stating how did we conducted the audit to come up with our opinion. Then in the report, we are gonna we are going to have a paragraph basically defining internal control, basically a boilerplate. Simply put, financial accounting one on one. You would learn about what is internal control and this is the definition of internal control and we're going to have a paragraph about the limitation of internal control a company's internal control over financial reporting is a process to design to provide reasonable assurance regarding the reliability of the financial reporting and the preparation of the financial statement for external purposes in accordance with gap a company's internal control over financial reporting include these policies and procedures. Again, here, they're just telling us what is internal control pertaining to the maintenance of record. So we have to make sure we have a good record, good record keeping system, provide reasonable assurance that transactions are recorded as necessary to permit preparation of financial statement, provide reasonable assurance regarding prevention or timely deduction of unauthorized acquisition use or disposition of the company's asset. Basically, a boilerplate definition of what an internal control is again if you don't that you don't have to know it now but go to the internal control chapter and you would learn specifically about every single statement of those how do we do so also we have to mention inherent limitation what are limitation things that defeat the internal control things that don't let us achieve our financial objective our financial reporting objective because of its inherent limitation internal control may not prevent or detect misstatement it has a limitation. Also, projection of any evaluation of the effectiveness of future period are subject to the risk that control may become inadequate because of changes in conditions. And here's what we're saying specifically. Let's be clear. We cannot tell you anything about the future because in the future, many things could change. Many things could change. The company's financial position, the economic situation, the people that work for the company. As a result, we cannot make a statement about the effectiveness of the future internal control or that the degree of compliance with policies and procedures, we can say it may deteriorate. We, we don't know. So all what we're telling you is, what we're telling you now, we cannot say anything about the future. Simply put, our report is as of a particular specific date. What should you do now? What should you do? You should go to Farhat Lectures and work MCQs, true false. That's going to help you understand this concept better. Good luck, study hard, stay safe, and invest in yourself.